Egyptian Museum, this is the Merneptah Stele. So on this side is the most famous name found in this entire inscription, which is right down here, the name Israel. It's agreed upon that this says Israel, and this is the earliest mention of the name Israel found outside of the Bible. The inscription of Merneptah dates to around 1210 BC. The inscription describes who Merneptah and his army fought with in Canaan. The translation reads, Canaan is plundered, Ashkelon is conquered, Gezer is seized, Yenoam is made non-existent, Israel is laid waste. Ashkelon, Gezer, and Yenoam are followed by the city-state symbol. These three city-states were ruled by kings. There is no city-state symbol shown for the name Israel. Instead, the symbol for a foreign people is shown. This means that in 1210 BC, Israel is described as a people that has not yet formed into a nation and therefore is without a king. According to biblical chronology, the date 1210 B.C. falls in the Judges period, where we find in the book of Judges this repeating phrase, In those days, Israel had no king. This is yet another example of the details in the Bible being verified through the details of an inscription dug up through archaeology. This is crazy. This guy literally just...